Hey y'all! Welcome back to Season 5, Episode 3 of The Hurricane. Hey y'all, I'm Natalie and in front of me I have a variety of drinks that I'm trying to guess the order in which they're in based off of my list. Okay, first one. These are like really far away. <laughs> Stop it. Get some help. A diet of some sort. That's Pepsi. <laughs> That's Pepsi. Okay, don't throw up on camera. <laughs> oh, the straw disappeared. That's cute. Um. So that's definitely Pepsi. That's cherry of some sort, so I'm assuming that's the Dr. Pepper cherry. That's definitely Pepsi, because that's gross. Cherry Zero, and then Diet Coke. Maybe that's Diet Coke. No, that's Cherry Zero, and that's Diet Coke. Hey y'all, I'm Azaria, and I'm gonna do this little coat thing, or whatever. Ooh, I hope I don't. <laughs> Too short. Don't do it. That's Pepsi. Ooh, y'all, I can't see nothing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think that's diet, that diet coat stuff. Uh, what? It's not going in. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Oh, uh, that's that, um, that's Dr. Pepper, that's Dr. Pepper. Sorry, I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's that called zero right now. Strawberry? I'm Caden Tanner. Is that all I got? <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Is he at your list? Uh, that one's Coke Cherry. <laughs> Diet Coke. Mm. Add dark pepper cherry. Mm. <laughs> Looks like people don't know their sodas. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Welcome to Man of the Show. Welcome to Man of the Streets. Today we're gonna to be asking people at CHS these random questions that nobody knows and nobody wants to answer. I'm here with Aiden. Hi, right, Aiden. What is the largest country in the world? Africa. Huh? No. Oh wait, that's a continent. <laughs> country. Oh, country. Oh, wait, running back, running back. I was asking, what is the largest country in the world? in Europe, by the way. Oh, it's in Europe? And Asia. And Asia. China. Oh. No, Europe and Asia, together. Oh, I don't know. Russia. Wow. What is the capital of California? Uh. I don't know that. <laughs> Los Angeles? No. San Francisco? Oh, it's Sacramento. <laughs> What is the biggest state in the U.S.? Texas? No, it's Alaska. What is the second largest country in the world? Canada? Oh, that's, how do you know that? What has hands that can't touch, eyes that can't see, tongue but you can't taste? Dude, what is he saying? And ears that can't hear. Um, it's a riddle, by the way. I have zero clue. 
I don't know. Your reflection. <laughs> it's a riddle. Oh, wow. What is the capital of Rhode Island? Um, I have no idea. At all. It's Providence. It's what? Providence. I have never heard of the capital of Rhode Island. Well, now you know. Every day. Thank you. Oldest country in the world? Uh, China. You got that right. What is the largest country in the world? Um, I'm gonna say Russia. You got that right too. What's the second one? Second largest? Mm -hmm. Um, maybe like China. <laughs> Next one. Canada. Oh, it's Canada. What's the capital of uh, Illinois? Chicago. Chicago. It's Springville. No, it's not. It's Springville. <gasps> I'm from there. I thought it was from. I thought it was Chicago. Yeah. It is Springville. It's Springville. <laughs> what? What's the capital of Mississippi? I honestly don't have the slightest clue. Jackson. What is the richest country in Europe? Germany. That's correct. That's it for this week's Man on the Street. Come back for more. I'm Jake Hall and I'm the treasurer for a new club on campus called Skills USA. As the name suggests, it's a skills oriented club based around CTA curriculum. Uh, we have Hayden Hold as our president. Vice President is Gabriel Cox, our Secretary is Emily Sainz Carvajal, and our reporter is Charlie Crum. And our advisors are Coach Putnam in room 506 and Ms. Vega in room 502. So what exactly is SkillsUSA? Well, SkillsUSA is a national organization designed to prepare students in the CTAE field to become highly skilled workers and students. Now, SkillsUSA helps train students to develop not only personal skills, but also technical skills that will help students excel as the next generation of workers and citizens. Now, for our local club, it is, will be oriented around graphic design and audio and tech, but this is completely open to grow. Uh, there's automotive competitions for Skills USA, there's fashion competitions, and there's even medical-oriented competitions. So why exactly should you join? Well, besides improving your career success, there's such things as fun competitions and field trips everywhere from local regional ones to all over the state. There's even scholarships valued up to $2,500. And of course, you get to miss school and go on field trips and conferences and build new skills and meet new friends. So for some upcoming dates that, are, that we already have uh, planned, include uh, the Champions Rally in Perry, Georgia on October the 7th, uh, the November 2nd to 3rd Fall Leadership Conference in Covington, and of course, plenty of region championships all across the state in January. And finally, on uh, March 9th to the 11th, the State Leadership and Skills Conference in Atlanta. So deadlines for our local club uh, include October 1st being our membership deadline and September 14th being our first official meeting. Now that first meeting will be held in Ms. Vega's room, room 502 at 7.45 a.m. Food will be provided. Now to join, you need to pick up an application from either Coach Putnam or Miss Vega. And there's a $20 due, which not only pays for membership, but also the t-shirt, and is cheaper than some other club dues here at school. We also have an Instagram, uh, Seville underscore Skills USA. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope to see a large number of you at our first meeting. Go Canes. So I'm Philip Hardy, and I teach the Healthcare Pathway here at Cartersville, and that includes uh, introduction to healthcare, essentials of healthcare, sports medicine, which is a pathway, and then allied health and medicine is another pathway. I enjoy teaching because I get to see kids come through my program. And usually I have them for about four years, sometimes just three, uh, but I get to see them mature and learn you know, the, the career field of healthcare. And then it's really meaningful once they graduate and go into the college of their choice or the job 
um, adventure of their choice and to see them excel, especially if it's in the healthcare pathway. We've got a lot of nurses, a few doctors, um, some athletic trainers, physical therapists uh, out there in the field. Cartersville is, is kind of a special place. It's kind of a small, still has a small time feel. Um, I like it because kids that are born here they, they grow up a purple hurricane. All my kids have been that way. Um, <clears throat> the community has some great support, so we've got great relationships with some healthcare facilities around town like Piedmont and um, George Bone and Joint, and that's where some of our kids um, can gain experience. If I weren't a teacher, I would I'd probably go back into full-time athletic training, um, either at the college level or um, I really like to do military athletic training because there's um, the Wounded Warrior Projects and um, the military has some, uh, some athletic training programs with their special operations. If you want to be like me, then you should go to the front office and get a piece of paper saying that you will try out for the Canes basketball team. I'm Carson Toller and I'm here with your weekly sports updates. Our cross country team had their first race last Saturday with the boys and girls varsity team both placing six. Their next race is tomorrow at Carrollton. Our softball team just defeated the Tyrum 10 to one with their next game being on Monday against Villarica. Also, our softball team is in first place in our region right now. Our Raiders team has a meet tomorrow against 15 other teams. Go out and support them and cheer them for the first meet of the new season. Our volleyball team won one of their last two games and their next two games are this Tuesday against Woodland and Calhoun. Our Carswell football team had a tremendous comeback last week, being down 20-0 and ended up coming back and winning 28-20 against Alatoona, with the next game being today at home versus Columbia. Go support them. Go Canes. This week, we need to pack out the student section, so make sure you're cheering and jumping around. Girls are going to come out. Like, yo, do I hear a song? I think I hear jump around. Be sure to jump around tonight in the student section for the fourth quarter. Hi, I'm Mackenzie Veach. And I'm Allie Sam. And welcome back to your weekend weather. Today is a high of 77 and a low of 68 and a 73% chance of rain. Saturday is a high of 78 and a low of 69 with a 58% chance of rain. Sunday is a high of 80 and a low of 68 with a 58% chance of rain. And that's your weekend weather. Here's a couple of announcements for next week. Make sure you participate in the homecoming week dress up days. Monday is Woke Up Like This Monday, so come in your favorite PJs. Tuesday is TikTok Tuesday, where you can show off your best rapper versus rocker. Wednesday is Wild and Out Wednesday, pick a side, country versus country club. Thursday is Tacky Thursday, come wearing your best Hawaiian or tacky tourist outfit. Friday is Spirit Day, go all out in purple to show your support for the Canes. The homecoming parade starts at 6 o'clock on Thursday evening. Last but not least, the homecoming dance is on Friday night, starting at halftime. It is located in the cafeteria and tickets are only $5. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to tune in next week for the hurricane. Have a great day and go Canes!